started to herd the alpaca in to the yard. Come on, Whoosht. come on. Because I need to create plasma in case the, uh, in case Feathers rejects her baby alpaca. And to make plasma, you have to draw blood from the male alpaca and I then have to drive it up to a lab to um, make, uh, get the lab to spin the blood to make it into plasma. Go on. There we go. You're so bold. You're really getting bolshy. You really are getting bolshy. Go on. And to make the plasma so that I can, if Oreo Bloom rejects the baby, not Oreo Bloom, Oreo Bloom never rejects her baby. If um, Feathers rejects her baby this time, I will have the plasma, which can save its life because it was very heartbreaking having an alpaca, baby alpaca that was born healthy die. So come on. Oh, this gate didn't close. It'll open. There we go. Okay. Come on, guys. Up the laneway. Come on. Come on. Come on. No. Come on. 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 Brindle, you don't have to do that conversation. Come on. Nope. Get on. Come on. Brindle, would you just be quiet? That's unnecessary. Honestly. You're bold. Come on. Okay. So it's a bit mucky underfoot. The horses don't come in at night anymore. They only come in for breakfast or supper. So um, I haven't really mucked out recently, but this will be great for the bottom of the greenhouse. Okay, now to catch the male alpaca. The vet's due any minute now. This is bold bourbon. You're becoming a very bold boy. This is feathers. This is Oreo Bloom. And this is Inti, the male. So these two are, I think, in Korea are gonna have babies. And she's the one that rejected her Korea last year. And I did everything. The only thing that was absent was I didn't have any plasma to give the baby. So I'm doing this ahead of when these two are due to give birth or when these two are due to unpack. That's what a, an alpaca giving birth is called unpacking. Hello, you, what are you doing? with your glorious eyelashes. You're becoming a very bold boy, aren't you? Yeah, very bold boy. Okay, now. Come on, good boy, good boy, good boy, good boy. Good man. Yeah. Good boy. There we go. Now, we're all ready to have our neck shaved for when the uh, vet comes. So, hunting for the vein. So you're palpating the the jugular. The jugular. Yeah. There we go. Got it. Excellent. Mm -hmm. And how much are we withdrawing? We're taking about 500 mils. We want to fill this blood bag. Okay. 
And then I buzz up to the and lab yeah. and it gets spun down to plasma. It gets spun down to plasma, exactly. Okay. So you can see the blood bag is filling up there at the moment. Oh yeah. So you're shaking it a little bit as yes. it goes in. We need to ensure that the blood doesn't clot. So what we've in this bag is a anti-clotting agent and an anticoagulant. So we're just mixing it around to make sure that the blood doesn't clot so it gets absorbs all of this anticoagulant. So then when we're traveling up to Kildare to get it spun down. When I'm traveling uh, up to Kildare. <laughs> when you're traveling up to Kildare to get it spun down, then we'll have, um, it will be in perfect condition for them to spin it down for us. So you have to kind of shake it and rotate it rotate back and, and forth. Rotate and shake and rotate it around and forward, yeah. Oh, very good. Just like that. So it's going to bulge out a bit, you know, the blood bag is going to bulge out a bit. And we're also going to give him a vitamin mineral dose when we're done this, so that he can uh, recover well. You're being looked, inspected by the ladies and the nephew. Okay, and he looks uncomfortable, but alpaca, when they're secure, they're more comfortable. And he's secure on either side. And um, so he's kind of relaxed. It doesn't look like he's relaxed, but he is. Correct. Uh, if he wasn't relaxed, he'd be struggling. Yeah, he'd be getting up and down moving. And moving, but he, we've got him very beautifully relaxed, which is good. It looks cramped, but I assure you, he's fine. He's absolutely fine. And there's the bag filling. See it moving there now? Yeah. You're being very good, Inti. really is. Okay, so once I have this plasma, once I drive this up to the lab, what's the process? So what they're going to do is they're going to spin down to separate the red blood cells and the plasma. Um, we don't need to give a blood transfusion, which is the red blood cells, to the crea. We just need to give the plasma, which contain the immunoglobulins for, for life, I suppose, for support, for, to fight off disease. So the thing is, I suppose, you have two options. Your two options are we either go down the route of giving an eye, if the crea does not take or the, the, the mother mother exactly take the mother or vice like versa. last year like yeah. last year what you're going to do is you're going to give um the career either oral administration of the plasma which is made from that blood which is made from that blood or you're going to go down the route of actually getting the vet out and giving an iv administration of it now i think you said last year i think when you're that poor korea yeah. didn't make it you, you tried iv but it wasn't of actual no, plasma we, it, exactly it, it was wasn't plasma. plasma it was um uh, I can't remember exactly what it was because it was one of another vet in yeah, your group correct. that yeah, came exactly. and did it. And we tried to say, we did everything we could. Um, but the one thing we didn't have on hand was plasma and it would have taken too long. So now this can be frozen and I can... So this is going to go be frozen. Um, it's going to be frozen and then it's going to... Uh, you, it's probably going to probably going to separate into different parts because if you're going to give oral administration, you're not just going to give one bolus of it, you're going to give a few. So I think they're going to they'll they'll separate and give you maybe when sending you home with a few different packs of blood. I think and wait and w different ways to give it to the crea. Yeah, well, it's, I suppose that will be up to yourself. They say obviously giving in intravenous to the crea is probably the most beneficial, but um, they do say oral administration of the plasma also works too. Excellent. Yeah. Okay. Well, here we go. And I've got a road trip for the first time in over a year. Yeah, you actually have a good point, though. You have a good, you have a good way. <laughs> and I have a good, ex excuse. valid excuse yeah, to right go right. for a spin up to Kildare <laughs> to a lab. You're holding the IV in place. Place, kind of. Yeah, well, it's, yeah. I'm actually only putting my hand around the next one. She doesn't move too much, but yeah, yeah. exactly it is. You can see that it's actually it's filling. It's nearly there. filled. We're nearly filled. It takes about four or five minutes to fill. Okay. Okay, and 500 mil is not, we're not killing poor Inti here. No, no, taking... definitely not, definitely not. <laughs> no, um, I think even in some situations you can take two, like a litre of blood. Like I suppose if you compare it, let's say if we were doing an IV blood transfusion on a cow, um, if you're going to say the farm animal, like a cow, you would probably take five litres from an adult cow, which probably weighs about 500 kilos, and you probably could take up to 10 litres from a cow. So your average alpaca here, we're probably talking weight of maybe... 100 plus kilos do you know what i mean yeah and so look we're only taking a certain percentage of body weight here anyway so there's plenty of blood by 
the, he'll be able to regenerate his own white, uh, red blood cells uh, in, with his spleen, from his spleen and things like that in time now, so everything should be okay. And he's very healthy, in good condition oh, good, and all the rest. That's the most rest. important thing. Yeah. And it has to be, as we were discussing, it has to be like an adult male over two years preferably. Yeah. Over two years preferably. And he's in really good nick. Oh, so. he's in super, super nick. Yeah, and so. he's very well behaved as well. He's you know, being that's, so That's so good. important as well, you know. When you often tr transfuse, you need a, a, an animal, a donor that's going to be well behaved. And quiet, because quiet. you're on the jugular, oh, which absolutely, is... absolutely, which is one of the most important blood supplies to the heart, like, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So, um, so, and he's being so good. He is being, you're being a very good saint, um, you are. Indy. Indy, you are. Okay. There we go. Yeah, we're actually nearly the 500 mil is just about to come to the finish now, so we're probably actually going to... Don't think we're going to fill up anymore now. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's coming space. to a stop. Stop now. So all we're going to do now is we're just going to take the IV out. Yeah. And I am going to put pressure pressure on it so it doesn't bleed out then on top of that. Because the needle is quite big. It is quite okay. big because we need to drain it. So I'm going to do that this minute now, okay? Okay. Right, Ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. And then loads of pressure. Loads of pressure. That is a big needle. It is a big needle. So yeah. that's what we need. We need because I suppose you would be at it all day if you had a smaller... Yes, so and we don't want to, him. that would put him under stress. Under stress, exactly. Yeah. Are we going to wrap a bandage around his neck or will the pressure There's No, the it? pressure now will do it. No, there's no need. I suppose with the veins, I suppose, as you can imagine, mm. the veins are so important that if you do, like it's if you did bleed yourself, a lot of time the blood supply clots very quick and stops veins. So it's more like if you had a skin wound, things like that, I suppose, but there's no skin wound with this, you know, because yeah. like, even though it's into the, the intravenous. Exactly, into intravenous. So that will heal and itself. So he'd have enough vitamin K in him to Absolutely. block it all clot that, oh, clot that, I suppose. Well, there's the old traditional thing also, you know, What's you that? always want to keep your cobwebs in your sheds oh, yeah. <laughs> because cobwebs are high in vitamin K yeah, yeah, and you just right, grab yeah. a bunch of them and press it on a wound, wound and, it, and it, does it does an external version of yeah. vitamin K. It actually there's does. a bit of um, folklore trivia that's actual fact. And as you can see here now, there's no blood on the surface whatsoever. Like it literally clots up straight away and things yeah. like that. So, and now the rest of the blood is draining into this and we're, we're done. And we're done and I'll put it in my box. Yeah, and you'll put it in your box and, and make uh, your journey. Yeah, there we go. The last bit. So that's, that hopefully will save some lives yeah. of some Korea right there. Perfect. Um, we're going to leave him still here because I'm going to dose him with some Vitamin. vitamins and minerals before we let him go to give him an extra oomph. Exactly. We're going to trade, Again. hand me that. Right, so we just have to do this quite slowly to ensure that he swallows it and we don't. Hey, buddy. Now we're standing, now we're standing up and struggling. Right. We've had enough. I think we've had enough of a strain, haven't yeah. we? Oh. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Swallow it slowly, buddy. Come on, fella. If we go too fast with this, we could potentially cause aspiration pneumonia, so we just have to be very slow with it. Yeah, particularly with the long neck. Exactly. There we go. I think oh. you've got it. There we go. Yeah, we'll go okay. Back. Lovely. Now, now, we're done. You will be happy. And here, you can undo this collar. Here, can you release the tension? tension? Oh, there buddy. we go. You'll be happy now. Happy now. Good boy. Now, you've done the business, you good man. Okay, guys. This is for if you all this is because you rejected your baby last year. So you better not reject it this year. Hello. Yes, it was your half brother that was died last year. So good old Inti is looking very well despite losing 50 mil. There we go. All looking well. Now, you and I have a road trip. The first road trip we've had in over a year. Yeah. Yeah. Two pregnant ladies going up the hill.
You're a good boy, Enti. You're a good boy. Yeah, very good boy. Job done. Taking care of future baby alpacas. Ones that Feather might reject or might not. Fingers crossed that Feathers will be a good mother this year. You're just saying, so tell me, this is... This, this is the, the, the blood pack and we got two, 330 ml. So I have 200 ml in this pack, 130 ml in this pack. Okay. And this was the other one that was the very little pack, you know? Yes, But yes. I got 130 ml, but I'd only use that orally because of the dilution with the citrate. Okay, so this is yeah. the oral one and then these two yeah, are you can for use these intravenous use. Yeah, yeah. And I'll just take them home and throw them in the freezer for when I need them. That's fantastic. Thanks very much.